What's up guys welcome back to my channel so i'm going to be showing you guys how to tie a nigeria brida ege which is called gele in yoruba language to start with i'm going to be using edge control to flatten a front airline so that when i tie the gele and push it back it will be smooth and fine so now i'm using edge control with a toothbrush to do that just to keep her hair in place just a front airline because a beautiful gele starts with a nice well laid flat front airline so i'm go just going to be using my hands to press that down so when you are tying gaily this fabric that i'm using is asha okay and this is not sego because it is not long so that's why i'm going to be using a style of one long and one short style so now before tying i already hemmed the edge of the gaily i already fold a little inch of the edge of the gaily inside so if you notice if you notice guys at my right hand side is shorter than my left hand side the reason why i'm using this style is because the gele is not that long so it will not go around twice that's why i'm using one, one long side and one short side so after when you place the gele on the head then you want to bring the whole fabric to the front so i'm trying to show you guys the back because a lot of you guys have really complained that i don't usually show back of the gele so i'm very very sorry about that so if you notice guys, i'm trying to crisscross the gele from the back i'm bringing the short sides to the right hand side and the long the long part to the to the sorry the short part to the left hand side the long part to the right hand side and i'm dragging the boat just to make the gele firm on her head i'm dragging it very well so i'm using the long part of the gele to hold down the short part of the gele and i'm trying to pull the gele closer to her high heels because when you're tying gele you, the gele should should be on your heel so that it doesn't fall off so now what i'm doing is i'm trying to create a pleat because if you notice what in the beginning when i tied the gele i didn't create any pleat so you can do it either way you can start with the pleated gele like from the beginning or you can create that while you're already while you're tying it on the head so now i'm trying to create the pleat then when I'm, as I'm doing the pleats, I'm going to be using my left hand side to hold down the pleats. So I'm going to be taking the pleats right from the here, underneath the here side, sorry, behind the here side, then to the other of the, of the right hand side. Then I'm going to be taking it all the way to the left hand side of the here side. So I'm going to be holding it down with my left hand. So that's what I'm doing. For this part, it all depends on you. It all depends on how much you want the gele to be. So if you want it little, you can do little. But if you want it more, more, if you want to add more, you can do that. So basically what I'm doing now is just to create the plate. I'm trying to, like now, uh, what I'm doing now, I'm, my, I have my student around, so I'm trying to explain to them. What you do is you bring the gele, you, you pinch a little bit of the gele forward and place it down, then you press it down with your, with your fingers. You push it forward, press it down with your finger, and you take them to your left hand side and hold it down. If you notice, my left hand side is not moving because I'm taking the plates that I'm laying down, I'm holding it down with my left hand side. So that's what I'm doing basically. So now that I'm fine with the plates that I've created, I'm going to ask her to turn, then I'm still going to be keeping down my left hand side just to secure the plates so that they don't lose. Now I'm spreading those gillies out i'm spreading them out so that i'll be able to not stay gele at the back and always remember before you tie your gele always make sure your hair bond is packed is smooth so that it doesn't disturb you now i'm trying to spread out the gele so what i'm doing now is i'm trying to take the gele from the back in order to tie the two together then after while you're, while you're tying the gele you keep adjusting the left side of the gele, the right side of the gele. You try to pull some little, little parts of the gele so that it forms a bit of pleats at the front. So that's what I'm doing. You notice I'm trying to pull the gele by the side so that it forms pleats at the front. So now that that is done, we're going to come to the front. Then I'm trying to pull the gele back a bit because when you tie gele, you don't need to use it. It doesn't look nice when you use it to cover 
your forehead totally it's very very nice when you allow a bit of your hairline to show so what the edge control will do for you is to make the gilly sorry the your hair to flatten to flatten your hair so when you're not pushing back the gilly it makes it more flat then your hairline will show and that gives you the beauty of that gilly so what i'm doing with a sorry what i'm doing with an office pay now is when you create a pleat it will go to an next it will get to an extent that when you are some pleats might not might not lay down so what you will do is you use the office paint to just hold them down while you do other things so at this point you just try and adjust your gilly how you want it to look because this is this is a bridal gilly traditional bridal gilly I'm going to make it look very glamorous do you understand like make it look very nice to show that oh this is actually a bridal gilly so it's going to be different from like a normal gilly that you want to tie you want it moderate except the bride says oh she doesn't want anything too too big and all that doesn't want to make it moderate for her but if not please just do something nice you just tie a gilly on a bride that people will be able to know that oh this is the bride and they will really appreciate it and say oh you tie a girl on a bride which people will be able to like spot out the bride from the bridesmaid oh this is the bride so in nigeria yeah this is how we tie our bridal gilly you know we don't we don't joke with it we make it look nice because it adds to our beauty you know because of our rich culture it makes it makes us look very very pretty and nice and without our gilly oh my god we are not complete so guys so, <laughs> so now what i'm doing is i'm trying to show you guys how to to knitting the gilly at the back so now what i'm using is this office page just to hold it at the back so that it can form a fan like shape at the front so that's what i'm doing so now the rest of the old videos is going just going to be based on designing the gilly adjusting it to how i want it to be making sure it's nice creating the plates in the way i want it to be making the gilly to look to look how i want it to be so now this is how a gilly should look thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys